things you need for this project. A, sc a screwdriver, make sure you have the right tip at the end to undo the case bolts, so then you can do that. A compatible RAM module, uh, there's a link in the description where you can find out what type of RAM you have, so check that out. And it's important that you have the right RAM module. And lastly, you're going to need the computer you're going to be installing the RAM on. And I see here, I have an old compact desktop that I don't use anymore, but I'll be performing the upgrade on this computer to show you guys how to do it. So let's get started. Now, before you open up your computer and start poking around the inside, make sure you ground yourself beforehand. So grab something metal so you can get rid of your static electricity or else you will fry something in your computer. So now go ahead and open the computer, remove the side panel. As you can see right here, the RAM is right here. And this usually sits right beside the CPU heatsink, but it may be different in your case. So as you can see right here, there's only one RAM module installed at this moment and it's a 256 megabyte RAM module and I will be installing this other 256 megabyte RAM module to get a total of half a gig of RAM in this computer. So what you want to do is clear some cables so you have space and line up the RAM the slot with the RAM chip and then just put it in and press it firmly but gently in place until you hear the two holding tabs, they click in place or you see them move and they hold the RAM. So as you can see here, the two RAM chips are now properly seated and the clips are holding the RAM securely in place on the right side and the left side too, this is right here. And now you're ready to go, that's all.